for migrants. Here now is Hector Garza. He's National Border Patrol Council Vice President. Hector, great to see you again. And again, thank you for your work. You guys put your lives in the line. Uh, too many of your fellows have, uh, have died in the line of duty, and we, we appreciate the work that you're doing. But uh, we're trying to figure out what Biden is up to, what the, the Department of Homeland Security is up to by filling in these, these spaces in the uh, Yuma, Arizona border wall, despite Biden saying he was not going to build another foot of border wall uh, as he was running for president. It appears they're, they're filling in these gaps that exist there. Why are they doing that? Well, part of the reason that they're that they're finishing this, these sections of the wall is so that they can uh, funnel the the asylum seekers uh, that are crossing the the border illegally. Essentially, what we've been seeing is that uh, the Biden administration has now created what we like to call unofficial ports of entry for illegal border crossers. What that means is that uh, currently in the U.S. we have official ports of entry, but under the Biden administration, we've essentially created unofficial ports of entry for those illegal border crossers. And what the Biden administration has done is that they facilitated the crossing of, of these people into the United States. Uh, it's, 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 it's done so that we can process these people faster, so that uh, uh, we can enhance catch and release operations. And unfortunately, it's, it's not the right thing to do. So it has nothing to do with securing the border. It's exactly the opposite. They want to bring more people in, and they figure this is a better way to do it, by funneling them through these, this single entrance. Correct. Yeah. If, if this uh, uh, building of the wall by Biden was uh, had any, anything to do with border security, we would see be seeing that that wall being uh, uh, being created at the uh, at the Laredo sector, for example, where we have zero uh, miles of, of any type of physical infrastructure out there. Um, and this is and the reason that's being done in Yuma is because we are seeing record numbers of, of, of illegal border crossers that are seeking asylum. So what uh, the agents are in turn doing is we're simply just processing facts and allowing more and more people to come into the United States. Essentially, uh, more people are being encouraged to come as this process is being done so much faster. And it's just, uh, like I've said before, it's catch and release on steroids. So, so your brothers and sisters, uh, border agents, who've been trained, very c uh, carefully trained over the years to be good border agents, are not doing the work that they were trained for. What they are doing now is bureaucratic processing of just anybody who comes in. Am I simplifying things by saying that? That's absolutely 100% correct. That's all we're doing. We're facilitating the the, 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 the crossing of people coming to the United States and seeking uh, uh, asylum. But again, this, these most of these asylum seekers, about 95% of these asylum seekers, do not qualify for asylum. Uh, most of these people that cross the border illegally um, are economic migrants. They're coming here because they want better jobs. They want a better life. And I appreciate that, but at the end of the day, that's not what asylum is for. Right. And the Biden administration is using this asylum laws to help those type of people and they just uh, keep encouraging more and more legal immigration. Now, Hector, as you know, the, the Homeland Security Secretary says that the border is secure. I mean, it's just it's just such a ridiculous claim. Nobody, nobody believes it. Uh, most Democrats don't believe it. Maybe they wouldn't do so in front of a microphone. But uh, what do the border agents feel when they hear that, when they see a wide open border and they're, they're doing everything they can to facilitate many more migrants that have already come in and they hear their, their boss, their titular boss, head of Homeland Security, you say it's the border secure. What do the agents feel? So first of all, um, uh, Mallorca's is is one of my bosses in my chain of command, and I would look at him straight into the eye, and I would tell him that that's a big that's a big lie. He's lying to the uh, border agents. He's lying to the American people, and and, and quite frankly, the border is just not secure. Um, when we see on a daily basis police pursuits, we see deaths, we see our agents being assaulted here on the border, we see uh, uh, narcotics getting away and entering our communities. You know that's not a secure border, and 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 uh, Mallorca's and the Biden administration and and everybody down the chain of command. They're 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 uh, lying to the people. They're lying to the American yeah. people, lying to agents, and, and the border is definitely not secure. One of the worst lies was when they were lying about agents supposedly whipping migrants coming in. That that was proved to be a lie. Of course, the president perpetuated that lie uh, very publicly. Senator Cruz has introduced a resolution to commend those agents uh, who were falsely accused. What do the agents feel about Senator Cruz's uh, amendment that he's trying to get in there? 
Well, we support Senator Cruz and everything that he's doing to support our agents. Let's talk about this real quick. Uh, under the Del Rio Bridge a couple months ago, we had over 15,000 Haitians, and not a single dead body came out of that incident. Uh, we were able to provide health care to everybody, medical care. We care for all those all those Haitians that were seeking asylum that Biden invited over. Uh, our agents should be commended for, for doing a great job out there, for trying to secure the border with the very limited resources that they had. And to this day, we haven't heard Joe Biden apologize to our no. horse patrol agents at all. And, and we would hope that he would apologize to them because he did go on national TV. He told the entire world that our, that our horse patrol agents would pay, that they were strapping people out there. That was just nothing more than fake news on, the, on behalf of the yeah. Biden administration. And particularly uh, to say that about people who save lives, and as you say, not one of the Haitians in that particular venture died as a result of what was happening, whereas many who've been convinced to come in because of these lack policies have died out in the desert. It's just, it's horrible what's happening there. Hector, thank you again for the work that you do. We appreciate you coming on tonight.